Um, I think the best part of it is that I get the opportunity to connect with students in a very unique way. But we get to do a lot of interactions. We have, we have, like in grade nine, we spend two weeks on just sort of getting to know each other, doing trust games, things like that. And uh, then once we've got that happening, I think the best, coolest part is they start to now discover what they can do, and we get to share that together. I knew I wanted to teach drama. I always knew that. But when I first started teaching, just to get into the into the teaching profession, I taught business and I had a ball doing that. And then finally, I got to do the switch over to drama, and uh, it's just it's just so much fun to do. Uh, Garrison Little Theater for 25 years, being involved with a lot of really cool people, got the opportunity to uh, um, to form a brand new theater company called Dominion Repertory Theater which is working in partnership with Garrison Little Theater, and it's in partnership with Fort Erie Secondary School. And we've got some pretty cool things that we're working on, things that uh, are primarily for the War of 1812. Uh, we have a production coming up in January, and we're going to have uh, Fest Kids will be in the production. So we're all excited about that. Uh, yeah, it's all about working in my community and giving back uh, to the school that gave me so much because I graduated from this place. Uh, wow, we've done tremendous projects. The very first year I was here, we took a play called The Mumberly Inheritance. In fact, that's what this mask was used for. Uh, we had a set of about four of them, and we used them for, as I say, a play called The Mumberly Inheritance, which, which was written as a regular play, and then we changed it into Commedia dell'arte, which is mask theater. We had done that play originally at Garrison Hall Theater, so to remount it, change it, and have the kids do it, and then have the community come out to see the play, that was phenomenal. And I mean, there's a kizzling other things. The other thing I'd love to talk about is not last year, the year before we did Blood Relations. Phenomenal play. We took that to Sears, and that was off the chart uh, satisfying. The kids that were in it, uh, I think, uh, have an experience that they'll never forget. With a really bizarre story. Um, I was always interested in art, and in elementary school, I was the school artist. I would draw. Everybody do their portraits. I would do all the cool things. But I was too shy to get up on stage. And so I never approached it. And even in high school, even though I wanted to do it, I never did. In the auditorium where I am right now, in the back row there, sitting there watching this show and going, oh my god, that's so incredible. I wish I had the guts to do that. And now, a whole bunch of years later, I'm in this auditorium every day. Uh, because art is the most brilliant, amazing, inspiring subject in the world. Booyah! <laughs> Despite what Mr. Pragnito thinks. Yeah, we're constantly involved with the community. We're involved in Santa Claus Parade. Uh, there's a 50-foot foot mural in the Leisure Plex that uh, students from Fort Erie Secondary did. That is probably the best artwork in Fort Erie. We're doing. We're actually talking about getting some artists from the school to do a permanent work for the new police station in Fort Erie. <laughs> My classes are in always general. interesting, always. I, I am never ever bored because this is the kind of subject where the ideas of students are just so interesting, exciting. It's like a window into their minds, which is sometimes a scary place, but it's still interesting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think uh, mummifying my students in tape was my favorite, <laughs> my favorite subject uh, or awesome. project and not for any scary reasons I'm sure you're imagining, just because they were transparent sort of bodies that were hanging around the school, coming out of walls, and, and it was just an amazing project. Students took it on, it was really creative. Uh, um, we really should have had more documentation of that project. 
Oh yes, I could think of nothing else other than doing art. I was in math class, I was doodling all over my textbook. Oh, don't do that, that was a terrible thing for me to do. Don't doodle on your textbook. But art was, was my life. I just loved, I loved doing art in all my subject books and during art class, outside the art class. That's, it's my life.